our talk sport reporter for the Paris Games, Daley Thompson with us now. Daley, can I just say how lucky are we that we've had you for the Paris Olympics to give <laughs> us your insight on everything, <laughs> honestly? You're the man. <laughs> In- incredibly lucky. Thank you very much, <laughs> your band. Modest as ever, and I love that. Um, let's start with Mark Hudson-Smith, shall we, last night. He got the silver in the 400 metres, but my God, wasn't he close? Oh, he was he was so close. I mean, he was one of he was one of our bankers, obviously, because going into it he had, you know, the fastest time in the world and, and he had been in the form of his life. And unfortunately the American Quincy Hall was in better form and, and, and stole the gold a meter or two from the line. But it was a fantastic run. I think Matt really did himself proud. He got a, a European obviously a British and a European record. And when you when you do that, you know, it, I think you can walk away with with your head held high. Daley, it's Neil Warnock here. Can I just say, I know, uh, uh, I've just wanted to say, not just to you, there's three or four people in my lifetime that I, I can't thank you enough for when you won that. I've never been so proud in my life, and I was watching it. And, it, and I can remember having the tears in my eyes. And, and I looked at you and I thought, the dedication yeah. that that takes. And it, so it's great for me to say, you know, thank you for that, for a, a special moment in, in my life, watching the Olympics. So well done, Oh, Neil, you're, you're very generous. Thank yeah. you very much. Very, very kind words. And uh, I think we all feel that way, to be honest. I, I want to add to that as well, sorry, because we were having this debate um, last week um, daily about the hardest events in the Olympics and I named a, a few, and one of them was the decathlon. And I remember Andy Goldstein was maybe in, in tongue in cheek saying that, like, oh, you don't have to be that good in the decathlon at all of them because, you know, you got to be good at six of them out of ten. But can you explain how hard it is? Because from watching it this year, wow, it looks like a hard event to win. Well, I, obviously, you, you 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 need to have you know a certain amount of of ability and. But what I, but what and and everybody involved in it does. But, but I would say that the thing that it, it takes the most is just a lot a lot of perseverance because it, it takes you know everybody sort of five six years just just to learn the events and once you get to the sort of proper international major championship level then then you're training five or six hours a day six or seven wow. days a week mm-hmm. so so it takes. It, it takes a lot from that point of view. As you get to the top, Daly, I would imagine a lot of it's mental as well. A lot of it is in your mind, you know, because you'll get knockbacks and you have to fight yourself yeah. within, don't you, uh, in sport? No, listen, uh, yeah, no, listen, I, I, absolutely, Neil. I think that when you get to the top of, of, of any sport, it, it, it then becomes, because then everybody's physically gifted and it's usually the people... That are mentally the strongest yeah. that uh, that come to the top. It's a, it's an interesting thought process because Gabby was discussing this earlier. Like when you have that one day to get to the Olympics, that one moment, and you've got to yeah. get it all right. Surely your mental focus would be so much because you know you've got the ability. Um, can we ask you about George Mills as well, please, Daly, son of Danny Mills? He's back in the fifteen hundred meter final despite that fall, close to the finish line in the semis. Do you think he's lucky in this situation, him and the other runners, to get through to the final? Yeah, to be to be honest, I, I did think uh, there was a bit of luck involved. I, I, I think that you know when when you're in the middle of the race and and it starts getting a little rough, you know, people kind of do push and shove and all that kind of stuff. But I think you know when they fell down, it was uh, just just part of the game, and and maybe they shouldn't have uh, been reinstated. But he is. And let let's hope he makes the most of it. I wonder what that girl thinks that uh, that <laughs> fell over a couple of years ago. You know, when when she was coming second yeah. or mm. whatever. You. I wonder what women, she thinks when she sees that. Even the woman who got placed in the medals the the other day, she got placed second, and in the end, she was disqualified and, and missed out on her medal in the end because there was a bit of pushing and shoving in one of the races. Um, Daily Thompson, thank you so much. As thank ever you, Daily. Legend. It was like no the, problem. Thanks, guys. The Daily Thompson fan club here on Talksport Breakfast.